Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was okay. your day? Fine. Okay. I got to work. Okay. Uh, checking exams, checking classes and everything? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, being a teacher, you always have things to do. Always. <laughs> yeah, there is always something to do. Exactly. All right. How are you, Christian? Hi, teacher. How was your day, Christian? Uh, very good. Um, yeah, I am working. Okay. Fine, good. Maria, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Okay, you're working graveyard again. Yes. <laughs> okay. Helen, how you doing? Very good, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Helen? Very good. Okay. Here at home. All right. Resting. Not resting, but at home. <laughs> right. And that's a yeah. big advantage. You know, just being at your house, that's a big uh, exactly. advantage. Good, good. Okay. All right. So welcome back, everybody. Teacher, uh, you, don't, you don't stay in your home. No, I'm not in my house right now. Uh, I had a meeting today at 3 p.m., Mm -hmm. And when I was getting ready to leave, it was raining, you know, and I ride a motorcycle. Ah. So I said, no, I'm going to stay here better because I was prepared. You know, I brought the computer, the headsets and everything. So I decided to stay uh, uh, here better. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I think tomorrow is going to be the same situation, but I'm not sure. I have to check. <laughs> Right. Okay, so welcome back. What is today's date? Thurs Thursday. 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 Today is Thursday, right. 20th. 20. Okay, do you say 20 or 20th? 20th. 20th. Yes, 20th. Why 20th and not 20th? Because it's the last day of the month. Okay, so vigésimo in Spanish. Okay, so what is vigésimo? Cardinal or ordinal? Or, ordinal. ordinal. Ordinal, exactly. So in English, um, every day is ordinal. First, second, third, fourth, and so on. So today is the 20th. So if today is the 20th, what date is tomorrow? 20... Uh -huh. 21st? 21st, exactly. How do you say pasado mañana in English? Uh -huh. The day after day tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so if today is the 20th, what date is the day after tomorrow? 22nd. 22nd, exactly. How do you say anteayer in English? The day before the yesterday. The day before yesterday. Okay, so if today is the 20th, what date was the day before yesterday? 19th. You sure? I don't know. <laughs> The day before yesterday, what was the date? So today is the 20th, yesterday was the 19th. So what is the day before yesterday? Eight. 18th. 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 18th, yes, okay. Uh. Uh -huh. When is Labor's Day in El Salvador? When is Labor's Day? In May, the 1st? Uh -huh. May 1st, yes. 
When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? May. On um, May 10th. 10th. May 10th. 10th. Exactly. So remember, all the dates in English are ordinal. Do you remember Children's Day? In October 30, oh. 31st. No. Ch Children's Day. Yeah. I stayed there. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> so, what is, what is Children's Day? <laughs> first October. Okay. You say uh, first of October, or you can say October 1st. Yes. All right, good. So, remember, every day is ordinal. In English, every day is ordinal. All right, so. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? We speak we about, about children. Children, okay. Okay, right. We spoke about children, okay. right. And how many people in the class have children? Three, four, five, Third, maybe? Four. four. With you. Okay. So only Jimena, Christian Omar, and Araceli. Araceli, Luis, and you. And myself. Only five people. Right. Okay. Okay. So we spoke about children. What else did we do? What were the other topics? Do you remember the other topics? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We found uh, a synonym, synonym, synonyms, synonyms about five words. Okay, right. Do you remember those five words, the names of those five words? Dispenser? Uh huh. Dirt. Uh huh. Designated. Designated. Sink. Sink. And truly. 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 Yes. Truly. Truly. Okay. Good. Uh, any questions with that? Uh, with that vocabulary. Dispenser. How many syllables do you hear in dispenser? Three. Three is correct. Dirt. Only one. Only one. Designated. Four. Four is correct. Sink. One. One. And truly? Two. Two, Two syllables. Two is correct. Very good. Any questions about that section, about the new vocabulary? No. Any questions about yesterday or comments? No. Okay, so today I will start by dictating five words. Do you have pen and paper with you? Or you can use the computer too. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Word number one. Napkin. 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 Number two is apron. Apron. Number three is Tray, 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 uh -huh. number four is utensils, 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 and the last word is 
cupboard 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 yes okay can you please repeat number one napkin napkin okay napkin right there it's in the chat number two apron apron right there apron number three Tray. 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 Number four. Utensils. 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 Yes. And the last word is? Cupboard. 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 Okay. So, do you see the vocabulary in the chat? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you have the same spelling? No. 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 Was it different? Yes. April. Oh. Okay. All right. How many I have words? A... Yes. Every every word is the same for me. Okay. Why? Oh, you have the same spelling. Oh, um, yeah. Good. Very good. Okay, do you recognize uh, the five words class? How many words do you recognize? Napkin. Napkin? Uh huh. Tray. Tray. Okay. So we have napkin, apron, tray, utensils, and cupboard. All right, so uh, let me send this here. Let me take a picture of this. Where is your group? Where is your group? Let me see this here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the vocabulary right there. Uh, I will assign you to work in pairs so you guys can discuss and compare your spelling with the original one. And look for the meaning of the words. So we have, okay, create rooms right there. All right, here we go. Discuss the meaning of the vocabulary, please. Speak with your friend. The meaning of the word napkin. Napkin is a piece of of clean paper and we use for clean your face or your nose, your hands. Uh -huh. What is the traditional material for napkins? Paper. paper. Uh huh paper. In some restaurants, the napkins uh, is not paper, it's clothing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Cloth. Apron. Mm -hmm. What is apron? For example, <laughs> the piece of the piece of cloth that the chef put in, in, our, in the body. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver, pero así como como el diccionario, napkin. 
Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Oh, very good. Very How was good. your day, Fernando? Uh, so, so, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, in the in the morning, I was working in the workspace, and in the afternoon, I was working in the video for the clinic. Oh, okay, yes. good, good. So you in, work... in the Congo in the Congo in the Congo city is raining hard, teacher. Right now. Yes, it 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 start like seven p.m. Okay, all right, but you didn't get wet, did you? In the camp web, yes, and the design for the for the page web. But did you get wet? Get wet. Did you get wet? No, no, understand, teacher. Okay, get wet means mojarse. So the question okay. is in the past tense. Did you get wet? No, did teacher. you get wet? No. No. Okay. All right. Very good. Entendí como que página wet, algo así, teacher, pero. No, wet. <laughs> Ahora ya sé. Wet. Okay. <laughs> wet is the opposite of dry. Wet okay. is the opposite of dry. Opposite. Yes. Of dry. Of dry. Uh huh. Okay. Same teacher. Ahora All sí right. lo tengo. Good. Very good. Napkin. 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 What is the function of a napkin? It's uh, clean your, your lipping or uh -huh. hand. <laughs> okay, clean your mouth, clean your hands, sometimes clean the table. Very good. Yes. What is the traditional material for napkin? Cloth or, or paper. Very paper. good. Clothing or paper. Very good. Ladies. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Very good. So one of you is working and the other one is at home. It's at home. Yes. Okay. We we'll change. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did you finish? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. About I have a question uh, that is a little bit weird, but. Yeah. If I want to say thank, gracias, uh -huh. uh, for example, a Helen, gracias a Helen. Okay. Do you use the letter S? The yeah, the letter S. Yes, you do. Not? Thanks to Helen. Thanks to Helen. Right. Because. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me. So, I, I used to to write in this way with the letter s but someone told me that for example if you want to say gracias a dios you only say ten god without the letter s right exactly so, this is the difference okay uh if you say thanks to helen gracias a helen mm -hmm. if you say thank helen agradezcale a helen So you say, uh, so if you include letter S, you're saying, thanks to my supervisor, they changed my schedule. Gracias a mi supervisor. Now, if they said, hey, they changed my schedule, you have to say, well, thank your supervisor. Agradezcale a su supervisor. That's the difference. That, that is the difference, yes. Okay, thanks to... Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, very good, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's continue, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Napkin. Cuestiones así como la ferretería y todo lo que hay en una ferretería y todo el vocabulario. Porque si no... What is, no, no, what is, what is the name of the page? Eh... Ava English, American and British Academy. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Ava. How do you say ferretería in English? Yeah. Word, word store. 
Oh, hardware hard store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Yes. Hardware store. What things can you buy in a hardware store? Shh. Um, a letter? Ladder, ladder. Ladder. Yes, you can buy a ladder. Uh -huh. How do you say clavos in English? Or how do you say uñas in English? Nails. 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 So nails is exactly the same word for uñas or clavos. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Hammers. Uh, plastic swimming pools. Uh, Drill. lamps, drills, different things. All right. Yes. Did you did you finish with the uh, with the meaning of the words? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so let me visit one more uh, group, and then we go back to the main session. <clears throat> Bueno, entonces nos faltaría este, este utensil. Bueno, es utensil. Utensil. Utensils. Utensilios. Utensil. Okay. What do you understand by the word utensilios, Christian? Uh, what is your? What is your concept about utensilios? What are utensilios? Uh, when uh, eat, lunch, dinner. Very fast. Exactly. The things that you use when you eat lunch, dinner, breakfast. Okay. What are the two most common utensils that people use? The two most common. Uh, what is the name of this one that it has three parts? The name of this one. Mm, let's see. Starts with it. Huh? Uh, How do you say cuchillo, teacher? Knife. Knife. Okay. Uh, knife. Knife. Uh huh. And knife. what is the complement of the knife? It has three parts. Oh. Okay. Starts uh, with letter F. It's spoon. It's spoon. Okay. It's, spoon mm. is for soups, right? But what is the name of uh -huh. the utensil that has three parts? What's the name? The, 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 the fork, teacher. The no, fork. fork. The fork. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Fork. 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 All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so what is the meaning of napkin? What is a napkin? What's a napkin? Uh-huh. And what is the function of a napkin? Uh, that you can use to clean your hands and your mouth. Good, very good. You use it to clean your hands and your mouth. Good. What is apron? What's the meaning of apron? What is I apron? I think it's a piece of cloth for protecting your clothes uh -huh. when you cook. When you okay, cook. good. That's exactly what it is. It's what you use as protection when you're cooking? Yes. Uh-huh. How do you say apron in Spanish? Delantal. Very good. Do you use aprons when you cook? No, teacher. No? no. Okay. You're four by four. You don't need protection. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it's for teacher. All right. I what can't cook, teacher. <laughs> you can cook. Yes. <laughs> okay. What about tray? What is the meaning of tray? Tray is an object that the okay. people use for 
for for carrying food and drinks. Uh, okay. Okay, who in the restaurant uses trays a lot? Usually the servers. The servers, yes, the waiter or the yes. waitress, yes. Yeah. And remember that tray is exactly the same word that we use when you're talking about emails. Check your tray, check your tray. So tray, bandeja. So it can be the one you use when you are in a restaurant or it's also where you receive your emails. Good. What about utensils? What are utensils? What's the meaning? The Anyone? tools that you use in the kitchen. Okay. And what do you do with those tools? What do you do with them? No. Cooking. Cook. Okay. Now, if, cook. okay. If you're eating lunch or breakfast, what do you do with the utensils? What do you do? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What was the question, teacher? Sorry. Okay. What is the function of utensils when you are eating? What do you do with them? Coffee um, maker. What is don't it? Don't touch the food with the, with your hands. Okay. So you don't touch the food with your hands. So if you have chicken, you use a fork and a knife. You mm. hold it and you cut. So that way you're not making direct contact with the, with the food with your hands, like Samuel says. Got it? Now, what are the names of the two most common utensils you use when you are eating? Pork and a spoon. Okay. Uh, what do you think is, is more popular, the spoon or the knife? The spoon. The spoon? When do you use the spoon? When do you use the spoon? When you, for example, eat soup. Exactly. Ice, ice cream. Good. When you eat soup or when you eat ice cream, you need a spoon. Very good. And some people use when, when, when they eat uh, spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a little bit strange, but some people use spoon for other functions, right? And what's the meaning of the last one? Cupboard. What is a cupboard? Mm -hmm. It's a furniture with doors and you use for storing a food, dishes or clothes. Very good. It's a furniture that you usually have in the kitchen and you put food or, or dishes. Yes, very good. Okay, do we have any questions or comments? No? No questions? No. Okay, so let's go back to the book. We're on page 24. Page 24, let me see this here. All right. I hear crickets. Do you hear crickets? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Someone is near a patio or or near the streets. Okay, page 24. Okay, do you see part five? Yes, teacher. Okay. May I have a volunteer to read part five, please? Mm -hmm. Volunteer. Uh, the two questions. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Are procedures poster displayed in some areas of your workplace? Uh, okay. That's number A and number B. 
letter B. Uh, look at the checklist below, designed to verify the step of hand washing procedures. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedures and why? Okay. All right, good. Thank you, Samuel. Okay, so the first question says, are procedure posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? You will answer yes or no, and then you will discuss the other question. Look at the checklist below, designed to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Why? And then we go to the information. It says policy. All chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing procedures. What is the first one, uh, Ronald? Wash hands using soap, soup, or soap. soap, soap, soap from soap dispenser. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number two, Maria. Fingernails. Okay, very good. Uh, next one, um, Helen. Use of between fingers and on hands. To Truly. Lovely. Okay, lovely. good. Christian Omar, number four, please. Wash, washes hands and sinks from production area. Okay, very good. And the last one, Fernando. This hand this one this hand dry dry hands go by um me me mechanical mechanical hot dryer. All right, very good. Okay, are there any questions with vocabulary uh from the five items? The last dries. Okay, what dr dries. Mean? Dries, does anybody know the meaning of dries? Yes. Secar, exactly. Mm -hmm. Se seca las manos con un... With a what? Mm -hmm. Un secador mecánico. All right. Any other questions related with the five items? No? No questions? Are the instructions That's clear? The Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So I will assign you to working pairs. I will change. Uh, I will rotate you guys. Let's see. Move to room five. Move to room five. I will exchange with her. I will exchange with her and I will exchange with her. All right, let me see this here. Right here. Okay, are you guys ready? All right, so here we go. Hello, Marcella. Can you hear me?
Lewis. Can you hear me, Lewis? Yes, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. <laughs> Good. How was your day? Busy? Uh, 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 no, it's very, very hard. Okay. I, I was sleep. <laughs> you were sleeping? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, good. So let me send you to room three with Fernando and Jimena. Okay, okay, same, teacher. All right, very good. In sink front production area. And step five, dry hand with a mechanical hot dryer. Okay, uh, in, I, in the um, step number two, mm -hmm. in, in my case, I, I never... I never have seen um, somebody uses brush to remove deer from under finger knives. Huh. <laughs> In my case, I, I never have seen, but okay. only only use soap or or the other the other thing, but uh, make a, a spuma. How do you say a spuma? Foam. Foam. Foam, like into foam. Ah, mm. foam. foam. Uh -huh. uh, make a very much foam and for 20 seconds, maybe, and put the, the hands under water and remove all, all foam and only that. Okay. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I, I think it's Hello. Hello, DJ. Okay. Are you discussing the, the exercise number five? Are you? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Dispenser. Mm-hmm. Okay. So from the sub dispenser, why is uh, Teacher, in, in the last sentence uh -huh. yes. or the last point, I think the the chef or servers, they don't use a mechanical hot dryer. Okay. I think they use the, the paper. They, uh, they dry the hands with paper, but... I don't know if I understand the the the, the message. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. So what do you think is better, uh, a hot mechanical dryer or a paper towel or a towel? What has better effects? For me, the the paper towel. The paper towel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could be. Could be. We have to discuss the, the points. Right. Oh, okay. So you, you have to decide if mm -hmm. this, how do you say medir in English? Measure. Mm, measure. measure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, measure. Right there. Measure. Mm -hmm. So it says right there. Look at the cheese. At the, look at the checklist below to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. So do you think that the list is a good evaluator for washing your hands? Mm -hmm. So you have to say, okay, dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. 
Is is that a good yeah. aspect that people used to evaluate it? Mm -hmm. So that's what you need to do. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. Yeah, it's like uh, it's more, it's more tasty. It is is more is more in this case in this word is I tastier than others. Exactly, it's tastier than others. Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes. Yeah, so I prefer that. I don't know if you have ever tasted the capita con loroco. Oh, I love that cheese. Oh, it's delicious, and it's more delicious if you have a, I don't know how do you say it, teacher, but how can you say uh, recién salido? Freshly baked. Freshly or fresh, baked. Freshly made. Freshly uh, made. Okay. Freshly fresh, made tortillas. Fresh oh. made. Freshly uh, made. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's delicious. You know, sometimes my wife tells me, look, uh, get some cheese at the queseria, whatever, and the cheese is so good that I'm biting it, you know? <laughs> and, and especially yeah. if you have an empty stomach, man, queso con oroco is, is, is one oh, of the delicious, best things. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like the queso, uh, the capita with loroco, but I think that my favorite is with, with, with pepper. I don't know, chili. Yeah, hot pepper. Uh -huh. The hot pepper, oh my God. Yeah. With, yeah, it... with frijoles y huevo, oh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting hungry now, you know, because I'm in the office, so, I, you know, like, when I'm in the house, I'm usually eating, 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 but I've been here since, like, 2 p.m., so I have eaten only one time, so... The dish that you mentioned is really good. You're starving right now. You know, I, I ate a, a, a sandwich like about 5.30 p.m. I'm not starving, but I start to get hungry. <laughs> what if we are talking about food? <laughs> right, right, yeah. Yeah, cheese is okay. good, cheese is good. Try to, to, to buy in the, ah, no, we, we left the station at nine, at, at, at 10. 10, right. You can buy it. Yeah, it's <laughs> too late. It's too late. Have you, have you ever uh, heard about uh, queso de metapan? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, they have a, a big cow in front of the... In front of the store. Yes. Yes, ah, yes, yes, I know. Uh -huh. Have you ever bought there? No, I've never no, bought there. Never? You know, I, I don't know if you... Uh-huh, go ahead. Continue, continue, continue. No, you go ahead. Okay, uh, uh, when I travel to Santa Ana uh, uh, all the Mondays, uh, I always pass in front of the Queso de Metapan, but I never feel the intention of buy something. I don't know if the, the cheese or the cream is... Delicious. I agree. I agree with you because when I see the store, uh, I think that maybe it's more expensive. Right. Than other yes. It looks and fancy. Yeah. Yeah. True. I have the same impression because the only uh, two places that I know about quesos de metapan, it's uh, one in Luceiro, Redondel Luceiro. And the other one near Avenida Mas Ferrer. Yes. And the two areas are for, we for know, people with, uh, with money. With so money. Uh, so I get the impression that if I buy there, it might be a little bit more expensive than usual. If yeah. I owner take the decision of invest the money in a big cow, it's because they have money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because that big cow is not cheap. No, they are really expensive. Yeah. yeah. Even if, if it's of gesso, it's expensive. Right, right. Yeah, so uh, it, it might be uh, chalk, uh, plastic, even if it's plastic. You know, uh, uh, a toy like this that is plastic, it's like two or three dollars. Now imagine a big cow. Yes. 
Yeah. I, I usually buy cheese in Los Quesos in Santa Tecla in front of the park. You know what Which I'm talking park? about? No, that I never Los Quesos. Martin? That uh, it's a. Uh, if you're going to from San Salvador to Lourdes, I'm talking about the second park. I, I always I confuse the names. Daniel name. Hernandez. I don't know. I, I always confuse the names, but it, the name of La Queseria is Los Quesos, and the and the cheese they sell is really good. You you okay. uh, you make a. Uh, I how do you say this? I have the the work in, in my song. Uh, commercial? Man. No, you recommend that cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's and really the good. Price? The prices are competitive. They, they, they give you normal prices of a cheese store. And what is the famous uh, cheese that, that, that they sell? That they sell? Uh, I like the quesillo they sell there. It's really good. Yeah. They also have a uh, so nice, I think it's requesón. There's, they have a special name for a cheese that it has tomato, uh, green pepper. It's, it's really good. It's really good. And if you go there, uh, it's normal that you find a line with like 10 people trying to buy there. It's always full. It's famous. Yeah. Good like products. This. And the prices are good. Like this, this chicken that sell in the in the town center. I don't uh -huh. know the uh, downtown. What is the name of in the downtown? But the name of the of the of that restaurant that sell chickens to broil. Um, bonanza. Al pastor. Bonanza. Uh -huh. No bonanza. Right. I I I try to to buy. Um, a chicken, chicken in, and it's always full. It's closed. No, it's closed. I don't know why. Oh, that's strange. Yes, yeah, really strange. But it's not my first time trying to to buy. Okay. Uh, but if if you went to, for example, twelve, it will be full. It will right. Be... Yeah, a big line, and they have competition near. But the, it's not the same. I think that is because the price. I don't know. I have never uh, tried to buy in the in the competition. Competition. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Uh, they it compete. could be the price. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Or maybe the quality. Who knows? Quality. All right. So let me visit another uh, another room, and then we go back. <laughs> okay. But Hello. Hi, teacher. Ladies, <laughs> how are you? Fine. Hi. I'm doing okay. How was your day, ladies? I was so tired. Okay. So, do you guys go to sleep immediately after we finish the class? Yes. I yes. always sleep at night. No, thank <laughs> Okay, how do you say this Belarse in English? I don't know. Um, how do you I say forget. quedarse? Stay, stay awake? Stay up. Stay, uh, stay up. Stay yes. up. So, Marcela, you usually go to sleep at 9 p.m.? Yes, at 9 p.m. Okay. On Friday, no. Just during the week. Okay. On Friday, I watch TV. All right. Like at 12 or right. 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. So you don't work on Saturdays? No, I don't work Saturdays. Okay. Mm -hmm. When did, do you work Saturdays? Only from home. I have to be, uh, I have to take all the, all the package we send to the customers. Because okay. we, do, uh, we give to delivery service. So All I right. have to check the route every day. Okay, the route. See? Okay, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, so let me visit one more room and then we go back. Okay, teacher. All right. 
Este es un estudio brasileño. Hello, hello. Donde compara. Who's watching television? <laughs> okay, let me see. Una vez que el niño lo han metido en uno de los grupos del estudio, ya que no se mueve de ahí. All right. Did you finish with the exercise? Al mes, toma chupete, está en el grupo que usa chupete. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Es igual que este niño, que ya no usa chupete. All right, all right. Welcome back. Okay, did you finish exercise number five? Did you? Yes. Okay. So, uh, what is your opinion? Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? So, wash his hands using soap from soap dispenser. Is that a good factor to be included? Yes. Yeah. So it's not only water, it's water with soap. Water with soap. Okay. Uh, what about the second one? Uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails. What do you think? Is it good or bad? It's necessary for, I think that m more for the chefs because okay. they have to, in, in some places, they have to touch the food. Uh, not, uh, it's a, a rule, but in some places they have to touch it. So it is really necessary that they have the fingernails clean. clean it. Sure, sure, sure. All right, good. Okay, what about the third one? Uses soap between fingers and on hands truly. Thank you. Okay, with this emergency with the coronavirus, are you supposed to use soap between your fingers? It's more necessary that point. Yes, morning. exactly. So it's not only I, like this. I, uh -huh. Yes, Jimena. No, I add in this in this part. Uh -huh. Wash uh, at at arms. I yes, think exactly. More completely, if exactly. you wash your arms. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yes, uh, I completely agree with Jimena that it's not only your hands, but also these parts here. Because sometimes this part touches tables uh, or you touch other parts or objects that you're using to cook. So it's necessary to include the arm too. All right. Uh, what about number four? Washes hands in sinks from production area. Is that a good factor? Is it necessary to do that? Yes or no? Yeah? It is necessary. Okay, good. And the last one dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. What do you think? I don't recommend that. Okay. Me, Me too. Me neither. Did you? Okay, what is the reason you don't recommend it? Uh, the machine took uh, the air in the in the environment. So, uh -huh. if you are in a bathroom and the environment is, I don't know how to say it, but but it's still toxic. Uh, the, all the the germs in the air went to the machine and then through your hands. Okay. So you don't no. Okay, no, that that's all. Okay, so what would be one recommendation if you if you guys don't agree with the mechanical hot dryer? What would be a recommendation? Use a uh, paper towel. Use paper towel, exactly. Use paper towel. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? No? 
I guess I think it's a good idea. I know I, I think that is a myth that the mechanical hot dryer uh, contaminate the environment, for example. Okay. If you so use paper, you you contaminate the environment too. So okay. the same in the same way. Okay, yeah, so so the two options have pros and cons. Now, which one do you think is more effective? The mechanical hair, uh, the hand dryer or a paper towel? Which one is more effective? Maybe if the hand dryer is not near to a sound that can cool have germs. Okay. Like for example, outside of the bathroom or near to another area that don't don't have the necessary of being contaminated. Okay. All right. Someone else has another opinion? No? How do you say reutilizable? Re uh, uh, my goodness, it's right here. Yes. Okay, it's reusable, but there is another reusable. one. No, uh, I will try to explain with that, with that word. Uh, now, um, a company uh, produced some paper tower that it, that could be reusable. Okay. So you can use that paper tower like three or four times, depends the use you to do. So you can, you don't have to stay uh, using and using and using and using and using. Okay. So I think that is a good idea for a pro of the use of a paper tower. Okay, good, good. Anybody else? Anybody else? No? Okay, so let's let's take attendance. Um, Sofia Escobar? Present. So, okay. Uh, Fernando Minero? Present, teacher. Very good. Coralia, she's absent. Ronald Barrera? Okay, Katia Marcela. Okay, Jimmy Rodriguez. Okay, Cristian Franco. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Josué Carto. Present. Okay. Uh, Jimena Baldwin. Present. Good. Uh, Samuel Rosales. Samuel. Oh, right there. Rocio. Rocio is absent. Mm -hmm. uh, Mercy, she wrote to me. Ana Araceli. I haven't seen Ana Araceli today. Okay, Maria Colindres. Very good. Helen Lopez. Good teacher. Good. Luis. Present teacher. Luis Escobar. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here teacher. Very good. Christian Omar. Present teacher. Okay. Present. Good. Wendy. Wendy. Present. Uh huh. And Magdalena, she's absent again. All right, good. Okay, so let's do some speaking. Um, what is uh, uh, the biggest country in Asia? India. You sure? China. 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 So China, you know, it's a, it's a country and China has been in a, a lot of topics lately. Why is China famous right now? Why is China famous? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. The coronavirus. <laughs> so what is the what is the position that some countries have about china like 
Did they know about it? Did they keep it as a secret? What was their opinion? That they are responsible of everything. Yeah, they're responsible of everything. So uh, that's going to be our topic for today. Let me see this here. Share. It's right here. It's right here. Okay, do you see the questions? Yeah. How do you feel about China? Okay. So, can, can someone take a screenshot and share it in the WhatsApp chat, please? I will do it, partners. Okay, please. Okay. Okay, just give me a second when I send it. Two, 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 two. Okay, I have it here, I have it here. Just give me one second. Okay. There it is. Now you have it. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very You're welcome. much. Okay, so now we go with the Chinese conversation. Uh, Samuel, can you please read the first question? How do you feel about China? Okay, uh, Ronald, can you read number two? Ronald? Sorry, what do you think China is most famous for? Okay, number three, Christian Omar? Would you like to go to China? Okay, number four, uh, Helen, please. What do you think of products with the Made in China label? Okay, number five, Maria. Maria, can you read number five? Or Sofia Escobar, can you read number five? Do you think China will become the strongest country in the world? Okay, very good. Next one, Marcela, please. Marcela? Hello. Can you read the next question, please? Does the power of China make you worry in any way? Okay, number seven, uh, Wendy? What do you most admire, admire about China? Okay, next one, Jimmy. What do you consider to be China's bigger problems? Okay, uh, Christian Alexander, what's number nine? Do you think that all day the world will be learning Chinese? Chinese? Red, Chinese? Red, Dang English. And the last one, Jimena, please. What are relations like between China and your country? Okay, very good. So, um, are there any questions related with vocabulary or pronunciation? Are the questions clear? In the number four, what is level? It's like the the uh, label. Vestitura. Label, label means etiqueta. Ah, I think it's okay. Yes. Okay. Someone else has questions or comments? Number six, teacher. Number worried, six. Worried, worried. Worried, preocupado. Does the power of China make you worried in any way? Si le preocupa el poder de China en alguna manera. I worry more for the... Union Sovietic. Aha, uh -huh, the Soviet Union. Yes. Ah, the Soviet Union. Yeah. The Soviet Union is good friends with China right now. Okay. They will and destroy it all. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. So, uh, are the questions clear, class? Yeah. Are the questions yeah. clear? Okay, yes, okay, so let's, um, <laughs> rules, 
7. Okay, so this person will go to room 7. This person will go to room 7 too. And then the rest will exchange. 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 Uh, exchange. And the last one here. All right. So two, two, two. I only have one. to room two. All right. So here we go. Practice your speaking. Here we go. Hello, Ronald. Where's Maria is not here. Hi, teacher. I am alone. Okay, so let me move you to, oh, there she is. Okay. So she didn't want you to leave. She said, don't <laughs> leave, don't leave, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. And how do you say respiración profunda? Deep, Teacher? deep breath. Deep breath. Ah, breath. Uh -huh. Deep breath. In 20, 20 minutes? Yeah. No, 20 veces. 20 times. 20 times. And, and uh, I... You can fall asleep. Help, help me, uh -huh, for the sleep. Eso me ayuda a dormir. Uh -huh. So you breathe 20 times deeply? Yes. So that relaxes your system, your body? Yeah. Good. For, for, uh, es que, ¿cómo puedo decir que yo, I have a condition, teacher. Okay. I, I have a sleep in eight, eight, 45 to 9.15. Okay. In this lapse, in this moment, I am... <gasps> yes. <laughs> and, and next, the time, I have insomnia. In, insomnia. Uh -huh. Yeah, insomnia. 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 Ya no me dormí. Really? Yes. So what time do you go to sleep, Stephanie? Eh, no después de las 9 y 15 y okay. necesito unas 6 horas right. Ajá, para estar ok, sí. so when we're having classes uh, like uh -huh. today, what time do you go to sleep? Eh, 9.30 but when we're having classes like uh, because the class, class finishes at 10 yes uh, I sleep Como digo alrededor, already, already. Around, 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 around 11 p.m., 2 a.m. Uh -huh. Oh my god, night, never, uh -huh. eh, nothing, nothing. Uh -huh. no, no puedo pegar el ojo después, pero es que es ese lapso de tiempo en el que yo necesito unos 30 minutos como para descansar. Right. Y, Ajá. y si, si yo durmiera unos, unos 30 minutos entre las 9 y las 9 y media y, y pongo una alarma y me despierto, yo ya regreso, puedo continuar trabajando y demás y me desvelo toda la noche y no me siento mal. 
pero si, si hago ese esfuerzo con mi cerebro de que no puedo dormir, me da insomnio. Ok. Yeah, yeah everybody has a different system. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. I, I normally, I, I rest 15 minutes, 20 minutes in my sofa. I sleep silence, total silence. Uh -huh. And I, I get up at 9.30 and I'm fine. I feel fine. Okay. Super fine. Yeah. Because in this moment, in this moment, I, hasta me duelen los brazos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Okay. That's a good suggestion. Mm -hmm. All right. Good, good. What's the news? I, I, no. I prefer not see and not listen. Okay, uh, but the the new news mm -hmm. that the Chinese create that in the Wuhan they make a party in a pool, they make a concert with uh, a lot of uh, persons mm -hmm. and don't respect uh, Susana ni nothing. Yeah, no mask, no face shield, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, so, I don't know what are what are they thinking about. Exactly, I know. Yeah. More capacity for production are um, less, uh, more uh, ship, more ship. Uh, yeah. Mano de, how do you say mano de obra? Labor, cheaper labor. Cheaper labor. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Hello. For the moment, it's very dangerous. <laughs> what is dangerous, uh, Fernando? Teacher, the 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 question number 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 three. Yeah. Would you like to go to China? <laughs> uh -huh. Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to go to China? Well, before it was a, a very famous touristic uh, destination, you know, like people, oh, I want to go to China, I want to go to China. But after this coronavirus thing, you know, it's a different story. For the, for the moment, it's very dangerous, teacher. In the other time, it's very famous. Famous. For different, for, for, famous for the different place, for the example, La Gran Muralla China. The Great uh, Wall. The Great Wall. In... Yeah, the, the Forbidden City. Uh, and, and it's a very exotic culture. You know, it, it's very... I would like to go to China after everything goes back to normal. I would like to visit China. Comida exóticas, como se dice. Exotic food. Yeah. yeah, they eat the, the, everything. The dog in the cat. <laughs> yeah, they, they eat everything. You know, literally, they eat everything that moves. So the, the, the history is very important, teacher, in the China. Yeah, yeah. They are, they're very smart, and they have uh, big inventions uh, from, from in, in history. Yes, in the history, in the technology. Right, right. They're very smart. Very, yes. very smart. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, teacher. I think, all, I think all the things of products that we have in our house, they came from of, of China. <laughs> yeah. But if... But Samuel says that the manufacturer, manufacturer, yeah, manufacturer, uh -huh. is the most famous in in China, and maybe it's the the reason that they produce a lot of things, 
And it's more cheaper producing mm -hmm. in China. Right, right. Yeah, it's cheaper to produce in China. But I don't know if only in El Salvador are a lot of things of China or it's in all the, the world. I think it's general. I think it's general. But if um, you see... Uh -huh. Continue, teacher, go ahead. No, go ahead, you, you, you continue. Okay, but if you if you see, for example, in the street, a person in the in a corner selling things that that uh, have the the level uh, made in China, you can trust in that. You trust in 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 that thing. <laughs> I think the Chinese, like, if you tell them, okay, uh, please make a, a cell phone for my mm -hmm. company. They will make the quality of the cell phone according to how much money you have. Because if you tell the Chinese, look, I have $45 for each cell phone, that's exactly what you will get. If you tell them I have $300 for each cell phone, they will give you a better quality. So they mm -hmm. offer you according to the customer's needs, you know. So, but yeah, when you say made in China, you said, hmm, maybe it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because in China, I don't know if you have ever heard about a uh, uh, black market in China, that the, for the same reason that China have a lot of things, uh, they can recreate, uh, for example, an iPhone to, to the perfection uh, using only a hundred dollars or two hundred and can sell it in in in, in, in five, less six hundred right yeah like Huawei the, the cell phones Huawei you know like they 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 have everything you know they're good quality mm -hmm. and they sell cheaper than Samsung LG Apples and so yeah I think China, they're, they're very smart in terms of business. They're very smart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like oh. juice. All right. Uh, this. And I think equal is is the the strongest country in the world. Okay. Because, because uh, they they have more Armas, how do you say? Weapons. Uh -huh. uh, they are, they had uh, more weapons. Uh-huh. Um, um, eh, eh, más grande ejército. A uh, bigger ar army. Bigger army, the bigger army. Okay. The, the China. Okay. Good. And the other question, okay. Question number six. Number six. Does, Does the power the... of the China make you worried in in any way? In any way. I I I remember that the last week I saw on the TV a a girl that she 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 put makeup. Uh, that that is, uh, that was a, a a Chinese girl. So in my opinion, the girl it was so ugly, but after the makeup looks very very beautiful. That the, yes. that I say, wow, it's a huge change. So that that could be the reason that the makeup in Chinese are good. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The makeup yeah. is. is yeah, especially because, you know, the, the, the Chinese people, they look very similar with each other. Yeah. So you put five Chinese men, they have the same characteristics. If yeah. you put five Chinese women, the same thing. They have the same characteristics. Have you ever seen a beautiful Chinese girl in your entire life? Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> uh, you know, I was I was nine years in California, uh, in San Francisco, oh, really? to be exact, 
And San Francisco has a big, big Chinese community. So okay. the school where I studied, there were the Chinese were the majority. And I remember like two or three girls that were very attractive. You know, they were they were cute. The, the, you learn English in, in the United States. In I the think. States, exactly. That is the reason that, that, that you are a uh, good pronunciation, I think. Yeah, maybe, yes, maybe. Okay. Yeah, so, That's so cool. yeah, so, so in, in, in San Francisco, to be uh, exact, you know, there's a big Chinese community and, and, and they have more variety of women. Uh, how, 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 how many years? Uh, you, how many years do you do you learn English in San Francisco? Um, you know, I was there nine years and I guess that I became uh, fluent after my second year. OK, because you speak the language at school, on the streets, uh, with your neighbors, anywhere you go, you hear the language and listening is really important. Well, some someday we are speaking fluently with a, with a good pronunciation. Hopefully, <laughs> you guys will. You guys will. You guys are on the right track. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. For the um, samurai, but China it has the other the other art martial martial arts mm -hmm. martial arts martial arts. But mm -hmm. it's similar with with Japanese in in the topic their culture or their mm -hmm. discipline. Yeah. For me, for for me, this is a, a, a I I admire for admire this country. I admire for that country. Yeah, they're very educated in in, in terms of discipline with martial arts sports in general they're very dedicated i didn't know that the china culture mm -hmm. is like japanese culture okay i didn't i didn't know that yeah they, they have a lot of similarities uh when you compare uh, especially because they're very disciplined mm -hmm. and uh and they watch uh, what they eat, especially the Japanese uh, culture, you know, and that's why the Japanese, they have the longest periods of life in, in all the planet. So in Japan, uh, okay. it's very, it, it's, it's normal to see people that are more than a hundred years old. Yeah, so they, okay. they, they live long lives. It yeah. is for the the culture from it, an early age. Exactly. Exactly. An early age. Exactly. Yes, they, they they start where they are very young. You know, so their mother and their father they teach them eat well, uh, do exercise, and it, they drink a lot of hot tea too. You know, they love hot tea. They're always drinking hot tea. After uh, they they're usually after eight. After they uh, drink, eat. After they eat, they drink hot tea, tea. Green tea. Yeah. Hot green tea, tea. Green tea. Yep. And you know that green tea has a lot of benefits. A lot of benefits. Green tea, black tea, uh, all the teas, all the hot teas are good for your body. Yeah. Okay, the, when when I ate uh, hamburgers, uh -huh. <laughs> when I ate hamburgers, is recommended after after eight, uh -huh. drink a hot hot tea or green tea because um, reduce the the grasa fat. Re reduce the fat in, e in my organisms. Exactly. Exactly. You know, uh, I arrived in California in the year 1986. And I remember one uncle mentioning 
that the reason why the Chinese were very thin, very skinny, is because mm -hmm. of what you're saying, because they drink a lot of hot tea all the time, and that kills the fat. Mm -hmm. That okay. reduces fat. So uh, it, it, I think it's true. Yeah, okay. so when you drink hot tea, you get benefit after benefit. We we don't we don't usually bring hot tea uh, for 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 our culture. Uh -huh. Only cool water, cool soda, exactly. Uh, beer. And and when do ah, no sé cómo decirlo. Uh -huh. uh, Tell me. Um, cuando Bueno, había un ejercicio que una vez hicimos cuando uno en la, en la cocinaba algo, una fritura Ajá. o algo, era lo que pasaba con el tiempo, la grasa se, se, se endurece, Ajá. se endurece, eso mismo pasa en el organismo cuando uno ingiere grasa y una bebida fría lo, se, se endura, entonces ya. eso viaja a las, a las arterias Exacto. y causa obstaculizaciones con el Con las bebidas calientes es lo contrario, las uh -huh. disuelve y las elimina. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, and, and, and remember, the economy of El Salvador, you know, for many people, unfortunately, they don't have money to spend in green tea or black tea or, or any teas. You know, they're like between two and three dollars, I think. So people say, man, I need food. I don't need green tea. I need bread, I don't need black tea. So the economy, you know, is not friendly with everybody. So, you know, so it's not part of our culture. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me visit one more room and then we go back to the main session. Después, tal vez. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Rocio. Talking about... Hello, teacher. Rocio is here. Yes, I'm sorry, but I have a problem with my inter Wi-Fi connection. What do you say? Yeah, with your Wi-Fi connection. Okay. I'm All sorry. Right. It's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, so you three, you guys participate a lot, and that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Teacher. You keep, yeah, you <laughs> keep the class moving and moving and moving, and that's good. Yeah. Okay. So I will mark you present, uh, Rocio, not absent. Mm, okay, thank you. All right. So keep participating. <laughs> yes, keep talking. <laughs> so that uh, the, how do you say? Um, how do you say teacher? Uh -huh. How do you say what? Yeah. Ha, um, teacher, do you know China? Chinese? Chinese? No, I don't speak China. Chinese. No. <laughs> what is the word that you need, Sofia? Uh, um, for example, uh, ¿cuál es la, la lengua más popular? El lenguaje más popular? Okay, the most popular language. The most popular language. The most popular language, de, de manera, na, o sea, ay, no like, sé cómo explicar, de manera natal, o sea, la mayoría, de, la, el idioma, como... Ay. Okay, like Mandarin? No, dice Spanish, de... Eh, la mayor, el, el mayor porcentaje de, de la población mundial ha nacido Ajá. en países latinoamericanos y habla español, pero okay. la mayoría ha tenido que aprender inglés. Los chinos han tenido que aprender inglés. Ajá. I don't agree the Chinese are the... The, the most, most spoken language. No. Okay. Yes, right now, you know, like, I think that English is the universal language. Yes. China, Russia, Brazil, everybody speaks a language. If you speak English, you can go basically to any part of the world and you will always find someone that speaks English, you know? Yeah. 
And that's why when you go to the airports, for example, you see the signs in Spanish and English. If you go to Brazil, Portuguese and English. If you go to China, Chinese and English. Russia, Russian. So I think uh, English is the universal language. Yeah, the, the, the English is like uh, uh, the Latin, the, the language is Latin uh -huh. in the past. Okay. You know right. Latin in the past. You could you communicate with anybody. Connect, we communicate with, with everybody in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in this epoch, in, in, in this epoch, what do you say? In that time, in, in that, that time. time, right. Yeah, now, no, it's, it's, now it's English. Now, yeah. it, today it's, it's English. Right. But the Chinese, yeah. uh, I, I kept, we, uh, we um, can learn another uh, words to communicate with, with him. <laughs> Right. That. Yeah. I mean, like uh, uh, some people say that Mandarin will be like the next universal language because the Chinese markets, they're growing, they're growing. Yes. So if you would like to make a business with China, you will have to speak their language. You know, the, 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 un, the only word, uh, expression we know the Chinese is Ni Hao. Ni Hao. <laughs> You learned that from Dora the Explorer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, Dora the Explorer, they teach you expressions in English and in Chinese. In English. Delicious teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, teacher. Okay. We almost go back. Okay. You guys finished? Yes. All right, let's go back. All right. Welcome back. Okay, let me see this here. <laughs> okay, uh, why is China famous? Why is China famous right now? For different reasons. First, could be for, uh, for the coronavirus. Okay. But they have other things that, uh, that, that, that have, for example, a uh, food. Yes. They, are really good. Uh, they made technology. A okay, technology, right. Right. Do you remember how fast they built hospitals in the middle of the emergency? In 10 days. 10 days. I... Yeah, 10 days. They yeah. were working 24 hours and they proved the world look, we can do this in 10 days. Right. Okay. Okay. Question number three. Would you like to go to China? Yes. Yeah. Even with the emergency? No. No. After the emergency is finished? No. <laughs> so, so you're not interested in going? No. Okay. No. I prefer visit Japan. I think it's more interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Japan has a very interesting culture. Yes, and they're very disciplined. Okay, now, uh, what is your opinion when you see something that the label says made in China? What is your opinion? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? The quality aren't good. Okay, the quality is not good, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, when you are looking for a product they give you two prices they said we have the chinese version at five dollars and we have the other version at eight dollars or nine dollars it's because the quality is 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 not as good as the other one okay now do you think china will become the strongest country in the world they already are 
Maybe, maybe. Yeah, in terms of economy, China is taking big steps. They are running, yes. And they are making influence in other countries, in smaller countries, <clears throat> okay? Question number six, does the power of China make you worried in any way? What do you think? Yes? Do you worry about China in any way? Do you? No. No? So you're okay with China? Yes. No? All right. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I don't feel worried about China. Okay. But I don't know, maybe later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and like you guys were saying. Ves? Huh? All right. All right. Brush your teeth and watch the video later. Okay. All right. So, what do you most admire about China? What is something that you admire about China, class? The that culture. They use that it's is... healthy. Okay. The culture. Okay. Helen, you were saying? They eat healthy. They eat healthy? Okay. What kind of animals do they eat? Fish. Dogs. Frogs. Everything. Frogs. Frogs. Yeah. They snakes. eat snakes, frogs. They rats. <laughs> But that's what the weird people. Yeah. yeah. But you know, like in other countries, you don't hear people say like, oh, I eat rats or I eat uh, snakes and, and things like that. But, okay. Question number eight, what do you consider to be China's biggest problems? What is the biggest problem in China? Smoke. Population, yeah, the, po okay. the pollution, the pollution, okay, population, mm -hmm. okay, why, why is population a problem? Why is population a problem, a big population a problem? Why do you consider that to be a problem? Mm -hmm. What happens to the economy of a country when it has a big population? Anybody? Uh -huh. For food production, um, is not uh, sufficient enough. Enough? It's not yes. enough. The food mm -hmm. production is not enough. Good. That's a good point of view. Now, what about employment? What happens with employment? Uh -huh. Do they have enough uh, work opportunities for a big population? So I think it is uh, when the country have overpopulation, it's less opportunity to get a better job. Exactly. How do you say mano de obra in English? And maker. Labor. Labor, yes. So when there is a big population in a country, labor is very cheap because everybody wants to work. They say, well, we offer you $2 per a day. Take it or leave it. Labor, how do you spell it? Labor. Labor. L -A labor. O R. E R. L A B O R, labor. 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 Ah, okay. Labor, yes. All right. Um, question uh, number nine Do you think that one day the world will be learning Chinese rather than English? Yes. You think it's so? Possible. It's possible, yes. And what are the relations like between China and El Salvador? What are the relationships like? They have a good relationship. Yes. All right. All right.
right, any questions or comments, class, about this uh, talk about China? No? Okay, so let me take attendance. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, sorry. Yeah. I have a question. Ask me. Maybe it's a grammar question. Okay, good. When, when you use rather. Rather means oh, oh. prefer. Prefer? Ah. Yes. So I can ask you, Ronald, would you rather visit Mexico or Canada? And then you say, I would rather visit Canada. So rather means to prefer. So the question is, do you think that Chinese will be taught better than English? Will it have more demand than English? Will people prefer Chinese better than English? Mm. Yes. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, how, how, how do you say discip disciplinada? For the example, the people are very... Disciplined. Disciplined. Okay. Disciplined. Discipline. Discipline. Yes, let me write it in the chat. It's this discipline. So the Chinese culture is very disciplined. The Japanese culture yes. is very disciplined too. Right. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about this conversation? No? So let me call Coralia, she's absent. Uh, no, no, Rocio, she's no, present. Araceli is absent. And Magdalena disappeared. Okay. Yeah. All right, so here we go with our last 15 minutes of speaking. Uh, let me close this here. Let me... Bye, man. Para que no digas que su luguito te daba carta. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, can you see the document? Can you see the page? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Three listening exercise. I need a volunteer to read those two questions, please. What activities? What activities do people do at a birthday party in your country? Okay. Also, what traditional foods do people prepare and eat at such events? Very good. So, two questions that are easy to answer. What are the traditional activities of people celebrating a birthday in El Salvador? And is there any special food that people prepare. So let me reassign you for the last time. Um, let's see. Exchange with number three. Exchange with number two. Exchange with him. Exchange with him, I will move him here. I will move him here. Move to room two. Change and exchange. Let me see this here. Three. Mm -hmm. Move to room four and move to room four. Okay, three, two. Okay. Here we go, people. So how do people celebrate birthdays in El Salvador? Do they drink? Do they eat? Do they dance? 
Do they do crazy things? Uh -huh. Loading. Teacher, I return. Teacher, I, uh huh, me too. Okay, hold on. Yo nunca me fui. No, no, no. <laughs> so you Pero never left. Vamos a trabajar aquí. Okay, no, no. I don't know what I did. Okay, give me a second. I must have done something wrong. Okay, open all rooms. So I think I closed the, 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 the rooms by accident. Okay, it's going back now. It's loading, loading, loading. I don't know what happened to the internet. It's very slow. Hmm. Hello. Teacher. We don't. We don't print the Oh, the picture. Oh, it's very simple. How do people celebrate birthdays in El Salvador? Okay. How do people celebrate birthdays in El Salvador? In Pollo Campero. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. They celebrate a uh, day the, with the family, but a lot of family. Right. Oh, big, family. big, big families. <laughs> big right. family, exactly. True. True. Teacher, the food, the typical food don't change the name, for example, tamales. No, no. Usually they stay the same, like they stay in the native language. Okay, okay, thank right. you. Right, okay. Is someone alive in this place? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I think that I was alone. <laughs> uh, I, I, that's why I wrote in the chat that I don't know what the problem is with internet because uh, people are not joining uh, to the groups. Uh, right, and, and that's why I brought you back. Okay, so... Okay. Helen is okay. here, so you can speak with her. I'm here. Sorry about that you hear that. <laughs> Luis. Who's your partner, Luis? A long teacher. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, you're supposed to be working with Christian and 
in Sofia, but I don't know. Let, let me send them here to move room four, maybe moving them. Okay, same. Okay. Move to room one. In his family. Let me see the, the question. How, how, how do you people celebrate birthday in El Salvador or in his family? Uh huh. What are the traditional ways to celebrate, Luis? Uh, he doesn't know how much, too much it's about it. Uh, yes. I don't know. Though too much about parties because I don't was a popular boy so I don't was invited to the parties okay I don't know what they do or what they give okay now what what if I ask you how people in your family celebrate somehow just buy a cake and that's all happy birthday hey let's everybody eat cake with coffee that's all okay simple simple yeah. has that okay <laughs> yeah every family celebrates different some people they just bring a cake they cut it happy birthday blah 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 and that's but, all uh, others they 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 spend uh more time and more money for these events so exactly all right so half of the class hasn't been connected I, i'm gonna have to send everybody back to the to the main session hold on okay hello again hi teacher so i don't know what happened with the internet but only half of you joined the uh, uh, groups so but okay let me see this here okay may i have a volunteer to answer how salvadorians celebrate birthdays uh -huh. we usually make a cake okay so people oh, make a cake they buy a cake uh-huh what else barbecue helen barbecue for barbecue barbecues yeah. are good Barbecues yes. are good. Yes. So when you have a barbecue, uh, what do people drink? Beers. What Beer. do people drink? Yeah. Horchata. Beers. Tequila. Apple juice. Crazy water. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you know you have a barbecue you know like if it's a barbecue for adults uh people are thinking about what what are we gonna drink you know beer vodka and and, and things like that okay so what kind of meat do you cook in a barbecue what kind of meat 
red eye. Red, red meat. Okay, but when you say red meat, uh, beef. Okay. How meat? Beef. beef. Very good. Beef. Okay. Dang. What what other types of meat are there? Ribs. Ribs from what animal? Pork. Okay. Okay, so you make ribs from pork. What other animal okay, can you eat? Aha, uh -huh. how do you say chorizos in English? <laughs> no sé. Is it the same, the same thing? <laughs> Sausage. 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 Right. Sausage. 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 Can you cook Sausage. fish Sausage. in a in a barbecue? Yeah. No. Sure. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean and, and fish is so delicious. So yeah, delicious. Fish. Okay. With lemon juice. Uh-huh, exactly. What about duck? <laughs> <laughs> duck is good. <laughs> duck, duck is good. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, it's yes. good. It's like rabbit. Uh, could no. be. Could be. Uh, uh, I tasted rabbit like 20 years ago. I don't remember exactly the taste. But I clearly remember the time that I ate duck, and it was it was pretty good. It was a uh, good uh, a, a good option. If you say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, do you guys have any questions about today? I have a question. Yes, Stephanie. Yeah. Ridiculous question, teacher. No, there are no ridiculous say... questions. Yes. <laughs> How do you say uh, chico fresa or chica fresa in English? Or, uh, or... Uh -huh. you, you can say Chiqui. square. Square. Say... Square, yeah. like cuadrado. Square. square. Now, yeah. square, square has different meanings. It can be someone very strict, but it can be someone like like picky like you say uh -huh. picky okay yeah. you can say picky okay picky. yes all Thank right you. all right any other questions or comments before we are dismissed no stephanie why do you want to know how do you say picky boy <laughs> <laughs> my nephew <laughs> is ah, <very> okay <laughs> Right. In his celebrate, uh, in his birthday, is his ate, for example, uh, Santa Burguesa or Oh my God! He no prefiere comida casera, sino so, okay. So he's picky. Picky. All right. <laughs> All right. So if you don't have any other questions, thank you again for making the time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.